The global pandemic has painted colors of darkness, but when will the light be restored? March 12, 2020, five months ago. That was the last day for learners like Jeff Hasikan to be present in school. With the suspension of classes, he thought it was the perfect time for him to free himself from the hectic demands of education. Days, weeks, and months grew. It was not normal at all. No graduation day, no class opening in June, no face-to-face -face learning. As an incoming senior high school student, Jeff is uncertain of what is ahead of him. But, as an honor student, he believes education is a noble undertaking, and it should not be stopped. The story of Jeff is one of the sterling stories of the 685 students enrolled in Mayor Ramon A. Binamin Senior National High School, a barrio school situated at Barangay Dakoton, 17 kilometers away from the heart of the Maro Capiz. Residing at Sitio Garo, a remote area in the given barangay, his battle cry is to pursue his senior high school in this school even in the midst of this pandemic. As a learner, being the center of the learning process, how will he be given the light and hope to continue? Gusto ko mag eskwela liwat kay ikanugon sa mga tiyempo nga nausik. Gusto ko man ipadayon, magpadayon sa pag-eskwela sa piyaksang pandemya ng ating napangatubang sila. The world was shocked by this global pandemic, but education must continue. To address this concern, the result of the survey conducted by the school upon enrollment show 435 students wanted to continue their education through the modular distance learning. That means, majority of them have limited access to the internet, some have chosen TV or radio-based instruction, while the rest for blended learning. Modular learning modality is a department of education's primary answer to how education must continue in this new normal era. As face-to-face -face instruction is not allowed, modules will be prepared and distributed to the students. Quality assured learning modules from the Depth and Central Office are downloaded by the teachers and passed through the following stage. Printing, sorting, filing, and packing. Every student is provided with an envelope from which modules are compiled weekly. To ensure the flow of the distribution and retrieval of modules for this education shift, an orientation was held with some select parents last August 12. Government health protocols were observed and social distancing was maintained during the said activity. A simulation of how modules are distributed was conducted. Then, how these modules are retrieved or returned to the teachers. But the parents will be kept in a box placed at the gate of the school at the end of the week. No students are allowed to return them to school. This academic plan will be made possible to assure that learning indeed will continue even in these tough times. With the shift in the education system, some of the students at the school already had a glimpse of how modular distance learning works as Project Duag, a volunteer group of teachers and students. Despite the onslaught of the pandemic, distributed learning modules for the students in far-flung areas and exchange of school supplies. This has already steered awareness among the students of this learning modality. Duag in Hiligaynon you know, means color and it connotes hope even in the midst of this crisis. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, Moodle serve as main learning guide, our highly qualified and competitive faculty members are also there to help the queries of our students. Each curriculum graded by CERN is more than willing to stay connected and communicate with the parents and students whenever there are difficulty on the subject matter. The Junior High School Curriculum Advisors and the Senior High School Curriculum Advisors. Sabario School, Mayor Ramon A. Pinamin Senior National High School will continue to strive in this academic challenge. We are all shocked by this global pandemic, but hand in hand we will strive for education to continue. Kaupod nyo kami sa pagpadayon. Together we heal and we learn as one. Let us bridge the gap for education to continue. And stories of Jeff will become stories filled with hope even in the darkest hours of learning. Together, let's carry on and say, Sulo, Itukalidad. And together, Padayo.